can they get enough from production from their bench to stay with a Windy City team that's found some really good production off the bench of late? Well, Windy City is at almost full strength tonight. Ryan Archidiakono is out. Down to Sonogo. Here comes the double and yeah. another steal. Once again, the double team comes and Adama turned it over. For the Euro in front of Drell for two. Promise from a team that turned out to be Milwaukee. So teams were told not to draft him because a certain team had promised him and he went in the late 50s. Step back over Funk. Chris Livingston's red hot. Yeah, he was uh, a big contributor on that national title team. Clark to Hughes around the perimeter. And her come up empty, but an offensive board and put back for Stevie Thompson. Bulls have had no offensive rhythm yet. And another turnover, their fifth. Here's Livingston flying. Livingston finishes. Harris can't get it. Second time also. And now a run for Thompson and the herd. And he's posterized by Drell. He's shooting 30% from three-point range on the year. Now Clark. Blows by Funk and one. You've got to make sure you can hit that three-point shot with consistency. And then Glenn Robinson the third never really developed consistency from long-distance shooting. And that's what almost every team in the NBA is looking for now. Here's Elijah Hughes rumbling in for two. Three or four of their five best players. As Sonogo is just coasting to a double-double with an and one. <laughs> Yeah, not a good shot there. I'm sure Baino Udry would be would like him to take the ball all the way to the basket, kind of let the defense off the hook. Bulls running through favors. Trell to finish. There's Gilliard. Whips to Trell. Five on the clock. Trell the drive. Harris nice up play. and under. Good pass to a cutting Jalen Harris along the baseline. Bulls have dominated this second quarter after a dud of a first. Extra pass to Livingston, covered. Livingston Whoa. flushes it home. That's what you call a power slam right there. Clark's got nine points after scoreless Wednesday. Livingston on the fast break is stuffed by Harris. No soup for you, says Jalen Harris. He comes flying in on the fast break. Under the soup, out of nowhere. Harris is having a heck of a game. 16 points and that block. Ford on Funk, and Livingston rumbles in. What a finish. Bulls' interior defense has been strong against a much shorter team, and then they just run out of time. Sonogo the steal. Sonogo coast to coast. And I like the fact that the officials let him play on. Sometimes they'll hear that 24-second shot. Livingston, well short, rebound Sykes. Sykes, an open three, top of the key, got it. The Herd with a challenge here, and the Bulls trying to hold him off. Five-point lead as Clark again, and one. I'm sure you can make a couple of those lefty jumpers. Coupette knifes in. Scrum for the rebound, Ben follows it. Now a three ball, it's good. <laughs> ball don't lie. Adige, the great defensive player, using those long arms to full advantage. Gilliard, Sonogo, looking for redemption. Finds a cutting trail for the dunk. Beautiful pass there by Adama Sonogo. 11, Henry Trell, the pride of Estonia, smashing it home back after this. Trying anything he can do to try to protect his interior. Kupeta three ball is a bit strong. Sonogo, another offensive board and a finish. Well, you look at a guy like Brooke Lopez, who was a post-up center for most of his career when he's with the uh, New Jersey Nets. He came to Milwaukee, and he totally transformed his game. Low post component to your game. But you see so many backup centers in the NBA have added that three-point shot to their repertoire, and it's really made them more valuable players. When you're tired, is deal with a guy <laughs> like Sinoco. That guy's 6'8", 260 pounds. Uh, that takes a toll on you if he's banging in you on the offensive end. Here's Coupet. Coupet, Drell, off the hesitation, oh. Henry Drell. Look out below, Henry Drell goes flying into the paint and slams it down to get a smile on his face. He liked that move, he's talking to Glenn Robinson now. And they're partying in Estonia as Ford splashes a three, that's his fifth. 27 points and 17 rebounds. Just another day at the office, now they get a breakaway for Sykes. And oh. with the dunk. 
And his team's up 23 right now. It's Robinson, Ford, corner three. Not that time, but Robinson over Sonogo. Put back. Final game of the season might be spicy. Andrew Funk. He's hit three threes tonight. Now a fall away two is good. Yeah, especially wearing a, a full uh, mascot cast. It should be impossible. And good to have all of you back with us. Here's a Chris Livingston step back over Adij. Those guys played on Wednesday, right. so uh, maybe we'll see him tomorrow. The herd could certainly use him as Lacey James can't hit. Gets his own board and one for Lacey, fresh into the game. Have a lot of fun calling the finale. Hopefully another Windy City win. We'll call a win for you, but great year. What, your third year on air here at it's been a lot the of Windy fun. City Bulls? Have Jacob Young. 125 points for the Bulls with 90 seconds left. Just an absolute clinic against a mightily shorthanded team. And now, let's just keep the clinic grooving. Adij Coupet, 127 for the Bulls. And the Bulls will be locked and loaded for tomorrow night. We'll hear post game from Adama Sinogo, who had a 2020 game. As they have the rematch, the season finale in any sports league, you want to finish up with a win, and we'll see what the Windy City Bulls will come out with tomorrow night. But a very good victory for Henry Domer Santin.